we're thinking about a hundred years of progress happening in less than 10. So imagine if in 1925, we'd gotten a century's worth of tech progress in 10 years. I actually think the amount of technological development we might get might be much larger again. We might be thinking about many centuries or even a thousand years in a decade. And then if you think about the thought experiment there, okay, you've got a medieval king who is now trying to upgrade from bows and arrows to atomic weapons in order to deal with this wholly novel ideological threat from this country he's not even heard of before, while still grappling with the fact that his god doesn't exist and he descended from monkeys. <laughs> which, which they found out a couple of months ago. Which they found out like two months ago, exactly. <laughs> Clearly, the sheer rate of change poses this enormous challenge. Some areas of science are slowed by regulation or by slow physical experiments. Building the Large Hadron Collider, for example, takes a lot of time. But the crucial thing is that human reasoning, human decision-making, and human institutions don't speed up to match the pace of technological development.